Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. So I'm going to try these real good entree bowls. This is a uh, grain-free meal, 11 grams of net carbs, 19 grams of protein. This one is the Creamy Carbonara um, Hearts of Palm Pasta and spir Spiralized Vegetables in a Creamy carb Carbonara Sauce with Uncured Bacon. Looks really good. Uh, we bought these at Meyer. It was $5, $4.99 for it. Nine ounces or 255 grams. It is certified gluten-free. It's only 300 calories for the whole bowl, which isn't bad. Let me get closer. There's your other info for you. It's not really the saturated fat is um, is that high, but eh, anyway. So there's the information: guilt-free, grain-free, gluten-free, blah blah blah. Oh, there's the conductor. <laughs> I was looking for them. They're right there. So it's microwave only. Um, I don't see any other directions on here. So ventilate or poke holes in the, in the film, microwave on high for three to four minutes, remove cover, stir, and co cook an additional two minutes. Let it stand one to two minutes in the microwave, can handle carefully, blah, blah, blah. So it's uh, three to four minutes. I'll probably do three and a half and then stir and then two and a half. And it says remove cover, don't recover. So remove cover completely between times. This is why a pool tab is annoying. Keep your finger in there. You don't get a paper tab. Well, I like it. Oh, it's glue. It's really good. Okay. It's a strong glue. Okay, the whole bowl is wrapped in plastic. So basically, I just need to poke some holes in here to ventilate it. Um, but you can see the veggies down there and the sauce. Tons of sauce in there and the bacon. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave, poke some holes in here first, put it in the microwave, and I'll be back when it's ready. Hey, so here it is out of the microwave, and it was um, it was really see how wet that is. That was everywhere in this bowl when I first stirred it. So the first time I stirred it up, it was really wet, and then the second time it was really boiling uh, when I looked in there, and then it went off, and this is what it looks like now. So I'm gonna let it sit. Maybe it'll thicken up a bit. It's supposed to set for a minute or two anyway. Um, my only concern is it smells kind of bad, but. Um, We'll see. We'll see what it tastes like. Sometimes things smell bad and they taste wonderful. So we'll see. Just like fish. Okay, I gave it a minute to set. I wanted to, I looked at the box again. It's kind of funny. You saw what it looked like just now coming out of the microwave. Uh, this is the picture on the box. Now, does that look anything, <laughs> does that look anything like the reality? No, it does not. Um, it's a soupy um, thing over here in reality. That looks like they individually placed literally the shredded vegetables in the bowl and put a blob of the sauce on there and sprinkles and bacon, which is exactly what they do. One by one, they place things. Definitely not the reality. But anyway, here we go. I always think it's funny when you see the, the package and how they've done it because it looks all fancy, you know. Hamburgers have big tomatoes and stuff on them, the lettuce and stuff. You don't realize that they pulled everything to the front. It's all stacked right there in the front. There's nothing in the back. Um, Flavor-wise, it's not bad. It tastes better than it smelled, like I said. the um, You do get that smoky bacon flavor, which is good. Um, well, you get the bacon flavor. I don't know how smoky it is, but you get the bacon flavor. You, uh, you get the flavor of the sauce, and you do taste the vegetables, too. So just keep that in mind. You do taste the, um, the uh, is it palm? Yeah. Uh, hearts of palm and then the, the vegetables you do taste them the texture of the vegetables are a little crunchy a little um undercooked but i mean if they weren't they were mushy they would just fall apart in here not a bad flavor it's not a flavor for me i mean if you need to eat gluten-free and you want to eat um you know you don't want the pasta, you want something uh, low carb, then you could definitely get this. But how many carbs? 11 grams of carbs. You know, 11 grams of net carbs is still not super, super low. So just keep that in mind. Um, I don't know what, I'm not on keto or anything like that. So I don't know what you're allowed per day. But 11 grams still seems kind of high. Because I know on the on Atkins, you were allowed like 20. So 11, that's half your carbs for the day right there on Atkins. So I think it's okay meal. Um, if you are... If that carb fits you and you have to be grain free and pasta free or whatever you got to be free from, um, you might want to try it out. For me, it's not a flavor or a texture that I would want to eat regularly. Um, that being said, I'm going to give it a two out of five. 
just because it's not my thing. The really the only thing that's got going for it is the bacon. Um, everything else, I don't like the taste of the vegetables at all. The hard palms, I don't really like the flavor of, and the sauce itself, really, I don't even care for. So. If you need that kind of stuff, go for it. If you don't, then don't buy it. Don't waste your time. Um, I think you're just, I don't think you'd be happy with it. There's better meals out there to have pasta and stuff if you need, uh, if you can eat pasta. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.